Hi guys, it's completely awesome and welcome to a surprise Saturday video. Most of you will be thinking, what on earth is a surprise Saturday video? Well, a while back I decided that I was going to post every Wednesday and every Sunday. That was very unrealistic because at the time I had a lot of stuff on my plate and I couldn't handle um, filming, editing and uploading th two videos every week and so I went back to doing one video a week which is on a Wednesday and now I just have so many video ideas and I feel like posting once a week is just not enough and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have weekly Wednesday videos and surprise Saturday videos so that means that I'll be posting every single Wednesday as per normal and then I'm also going to be doing um, little extra videos on a Saturday and that might become a weekly thing if I can but I'm not going to commit to fully doing two videos a week for now but yeah this is the very first surprise Saturday video so for this new beginning of surprise Saturday videos I'm going to be talking to you guys about beginnings of the day and I'm going to be teaching you how to become a morning person so without further ado let's get on with the video so first of all I just want to say that I was never a morning person I'm still not 100% a morning person, I like to sleep in, I naturally sleep in, and I find it hard to wake up. However, I have found some tips and tricks that have been working for me, and so I thought that I would pass them on to any of you guys who want to be waking up earlier, and honestly, I like it when I wake up early, because I, it's just so cool like knowing that you're up before the rest of the world. And that's not true because there's different times and different countries. But it's cool having extra time in the day to do stuff before you would normally have to. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight on into the first tip, which is to set an alarm. And I feel like most people like do this, but they don't really do it because... On an Apple iPhone, I have an iPhone 5, um, you can set alarms in the clock app. When you set the alarm, there is actually an option for that to turn off the snooze button. And I would 110% recommend this. And also, I set two alarms in the morning, usually about five minutes apart. So, um, I wake up at 6 on school days so I'll set an alarm for 6 without the snooze button and I'll normally just turn that off and I'll also set one for 6.05 because that way you will have already woken up and you're like kind of back asleep but then this one's just annoying and yeah I feel like that's um, a good idea because um, then it's just bugging you to get out of bed Tip number two is to put your phone or alarm clock on the other side of your room. That way you have to actually get up out into the cold and walk across your room so that you can turn off your alarm. And this I think is a really good idea because that way you're already up and you're already moving to turn it off and you can't just um, turn it off and go back to sleep. Tip number three is as soon as you wake up drink a glass of water and if you drink a glass of water as soon as you wake up then it's going to get everything in your body running and um, wake you up a bit more it starts your metabolism and also if you can it's also really good to put a slice of lemon in with your water just because it's overall better for your health tip number four is to exercise when you wake up. This can be anything from doing yoga to going for a run or doing a workout or just standing up, anything. As long as you're exercising, it is waking you up and it is also proven that exercising releases a chemical in your brain that makes you happier. 
Tip number five is to sleep with your blinds or your windows open. That way when you wake up the room will be light and it'll be much harder to get back to sleep and it just puts you in a happier mood. Tip number six is to set your alarm with music rather than the classic alarm sounds. If you have an iPhone then you can do this. I'm not sure about Android or actual alarm clocks but um, on an Apple iPhone you can choose to set it to a song and that way you're waking up to something that you like rather than something that you don't like. Tip number seven is to put all electronics away at least one hour before you go to sleep because then your brain is just relaxing and I don't know the sciencey bit of it but it's something to do with like electronics and the white light um, or blue light or whatever it is um, messing with your sleep patterns so yeah if you put your electronics away one hour before you sleep and read a book then it'll be much easier to get to sleep and tip number eight is to make a to-do list before you go to sleep I put one on my bedside table so that when I can wake up I just look at that and then I make sure to do everything on that list and just put everything that you want to do in that morning on that list like wake up and have a glass of water, wake up and do a workout, wake up and put music on, wake up and have breakfast. Whatever it is just put it on a to-do list and then you're more motivated to do that. Also. A good idea is to set yourself a reward for if you do everything on that list because there might be something that you don't really want to do on that list but if you have a reward that can only really be unlocked if you finish everything then that will motivate you to finish all of the to do stuff <laughs> to finish all of the jobs that was it for this video if you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because i'm doing a giveaway at the moment if we can reach 45 subscribers by the end by the 2nd of july then i'll be giving away a bottle of wake up spray and the full range of canby's natural cosmetics so all you have to do to be entered in that is to be subscribed and also I would like to do another Q&A because I feel like they are so fun to do. So yeah, just um, comment down on this video any questions that you have for that with the hashtag AskBella. And I will see you completely awesome people next time. Bye!